I'm in Rehoboth Beach, Delaware. I'm at Indian River Inlet. This is a state auction of unclaimed boats that the state took possession of. Now, the state had a lot of marinas that they own, and you know, folks with private owners of these boats, they would rent the marina. If they don't pay their docking fees and they don't claim the boat, well, the state takes possession of it. They have nine of these things that they're auctioning off right now. And, uh, and this is our opportunity to go through it. This is a preview day. The auction closes tomorrow night. It's online, it's online bidding. Uh, but today's our day to go through these boats and take a look at them and see what we like or don't like. Now, I have a vision of an idea of what I want to do if I can score one of these things for the right price. Uh, the first one we're going to look at, this is a 1983 ocean yacht, 46 foot long, 15 foot beam. And that's the width of the boat in the back. And uh, bidding's right now, $1,250. Now look, I don't know a lot about boats. This one makes me think it's a sport fisherman and it is called More Like It out of Virginia Beach. All right, so this is the biggest of the nine boats they'd have out here. And you can see the 15 feet. It's surprising how wide this is. Dad's with me, the great white boater over here. And <laughs> we're looking around and I mean, the hatches are all over the floor. Dad pointed out that, that water line right there on that beam, that this thing has probably been sitting underwater for quite a while. Maybe not submerged entirely, but certainly not floating. Certainly not floating yeah. Let's take a look inside. And this is the engine hatch. And oh my goodness, it's heavy. It locks up. You don't have to hold it, it'll lock up. Oh, we will stay up? Yeah. Okay. And down here in the engine room, we have two diesels that are fairly, I mean, I don't know. I don't know anything about them. Doesn't look clean. There's standing water down here. I mean, if you look at all your inline connections, like these lines here, or your inlet for your water, cooling, the engine, also for your transmission, that kind of stuff, there's your there's your shaft going through, and you can see like that's been dried out. So I imagine the bearing, not the bearing, but the, there's the water mark right there on the uh, frame of the engine. What's the, oh, the water line right down here? Yeah, yeah, I see it right there. Yep. That's so the water's been that high. So all this has been submerged. So inside, this is, well, I mean, what cabin would this be called? Like a. This be your main cabin? Like a main cabin, okay. Okay, so, so you got a set of couches and their pull-out beds, I guess, right? Mm -hmm. Refrigerator over here. Refrigerator. And mirrors. <laughs> oh, check it out. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And then down below is the galley, right? Down below is going to be your head, your galley, and the captain's quarters, and the... Uh, and yeah, a refrigerator, a full kitchen, really. Dishwasher. Dishwasher, yeah. yeah. Uh, check it out. Yep. Full range. And then inside we have. Uh, is this called a berth? This is the captain's berth. Yeah. The captain's berth, okay. So this is what they call a V berth because it's obviously like a V. And it still has clothes in it. Nice. Uh, my showers. Oh, there's a bathroom. And it's, it's a large shower for a boat. Yeah, yeah look. Oh, and there's still jeans hanging up on here. Yep. And right. towels. <laughs> these doors swing out this way. I don't know what's holding it. But they swing out. See this here frame? Yeah. So these would both come out this way. So that would be enclosed. The shower would be enclosed. Oh, I get it. Okay. Right. Nice for the ventilation. You got that window. Up there. Yeah. Okay. But the head, the, the cleanest thing on the boat is the door. And here's another head and shower over here. Oh, a second one? Yep. Why do you need two bathrooms if you have one bath or uh, bedroom? Of course, it's a big boat. You can do it. All right. You gotta remember, a lot of these boats were set up for like this would be the captains. All this would be private for the captain. This would be people on the oh, boat fishing and stuff like got that. Got it. Here's a prism feature from the old days, the very old days of the sailing boats. This here prism is up on the deck. It's just a flat piece of glass, and what happens it put some nice light in here so that you have light in here not that you read or anything so you got a two bed two bath busted up boat with bad engines and up top and what's this up top called the flybridge flybridge, flybridge. 
take a look up here. <laughs> oh my. Yeah, no, it's all enclosed. I like that. It's all plastic. The back would enclose too. The, oh, would it zip down? This is the whole thing about a sport fishing. It's all about being up here. This is, yeah, this is the sweet spot. Oh, and you got some electronics. Two Is that like radar? Um, there are fish finders and stuff like that. Oh, fish finder. Okay. I see, I didn't know there was a radar on here. But there and like, you got your controls. I mean, you're probably talking fifteen thousand on those. Oh, I like how you have like the RPM and stuff right in front of you. You could see very easily. Right. Without looking down. That's cool. And up here, you have what more? Let me again. And on this side, like uh, stereo, okay. Port. Yeah. Storm, storm. Each engine separate. Okay. So you can like throw this in forward here, give it a little bit of gas, throw this in reverse, give it a little gas, it will pivot. That's how you fit it. So separate controls for each engine, and that's why you have your different yep. setup for your gear. Yep. So if the bidding stayed at 1250, would you be buying something like this? Even at twelve fifty, it's a lot of money. It would depend on where I could put it. And there's no guarantee it'll float, too, right? Yeah, right. You got to find out where it's leaking from. Right. What's funny? It could be coming from the exhaust pipes, or it could be coming from the shaft. The thing is, right now you don't see the water leaking out with all that water in there. That's right. So that's a good point. How high is the leak? Yeah, yeah. Good point. Right? Which puts it around the exhaust pipes. And not so much around the uh, packing vans on the ship. It's bidding is at 1250 right now. This thing is kind of crusty, kind of worn out. Fat engines. It's leaking somewhere. Who knows? You know, whatever. This is not the idea of what I want to get into. It's kind of cool to see it though. Let's take a look at the next one. All right, next boat, lot number seven. It's a 2005 Bayliner, 35 foot long, 11 and a half foot beam. Bidding is at thirteen fifty right now. Now this is more of a like a like a uh, cabin cruiser. Pleasure boat. Cabin. A pleasure boat. Okay. All right. Let's take a look outside. Oh, so we got a different engine set up, right? And so the engine and, and that first one, what would that be called? Like a mid? This is inboard. Inboard. Okay. Yeah, that's inboard. Okay. These are inboard outboards. These are inboard outboards with the out drive units. Like okay. And kind of rotating props. Which is All right. Name the foreplay out of Mount Airy. Now let's take a look inside. So this is our this is our ladder to get in. Yeah. This is this the is most expensive on this is just the transportation. Yeah. That's yeah. No, I was looking and they were charging six fifty a foot no, no, to get this. Up. Just to, lift it just to get it out, yeah. Get it, get it up and put it on the trail. Oh, that's all it is, huh? That's that's all it is. No, that's no good. And so, underneath we have, uh, yeah, much more of a, a pleasure cruiser than than yeah, the sport fisherman. Yeah. yeah, it is. Well, I think it's a newer boat too. That's why you see. Oh, it's a 2005 for sure. A lot more yeah. newer looking features. Yeah. And where's the engine room underneath? Oh, right there. Yeah. Under here. So, and here we have a, oh, a bunk, okay. This is called an after. Oh, an aft. That's like uh, an extra room on it. Here. Okay. And on the other side we have. That's just a bathroom right A bathroom. Here. bathroom yeah. Okay. And then your uh, electrical control panel, you have a small galley right here. You a lot of light in here, I'm surprised, for, for being a lot smaller. Yep. Then the uh, the other boat. Oh, and it comes with a bottle of booze. So yeah, we got your gauges. Um, not seeing much electronics on this one. The other, the uh, sport fisherman had had quite a bit left on it still. I like the platform back here. Yeah, it is. Take a shower. Oh, you get rinse off. Covered this good. Oh yeah, the last time it was in the water, maybe five years ago, based on the registration sticker. Yeah. So let's see where lot number well, number seven. Let's see where lot number seven ends up. And right next door is lot number five, a 1984 cruiser, 29 feet long. Bidding is at $100, and probably for good reason too. It looks looks like a heavy boat. It's what they call tunnel drive. Okay. Okay. Also protects your props. Your props. See how far up your props are. Yep. Yep. 
the tunnel forces the water into the property. Okay, versus and and uh, yeah. but this an upward you, drive. You can go in shallower water and your crops are more protected. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, and that makes sense. So this is the draft, right? From this line down to the bottom here. Right. So that's maybe two feet? That's a good two feet plus. Yeah. All right, so finally get up here. There was a time when it was a lot easier. It was only one step. All I had. And this is a fly, you're saying? Anything above is called a fly. Bro. Okay. The salon is always Oh, the salon. Salon is down here and the fly is up top. So let's take a look up here. Yeah. I don't even know. It looks like it was covered up at one point. It's been all ripped up. Weather's taking its toll. Let's get into the slider and inside the salon. Funky smell, like that wet carpet smell. Look at the carpeting. So again, no uh, no electronics in here. Fumes, looks like. Probably carbon monoxide. A small galley kitchen here. Definitely showing its age. And I'm gonna guess this is the head, yep. And the berth up front. I tell you, that is it. That's the whole thing. I mean, really gotten cramped when you get into the size. Although it's not a small boat. How'd you get up here? How'd you do that? There's a time I can still do it. <laughs> would you? Would you? How'd you do that? I stepped on the exhaust pipe and <laughs> took a big leap. I don't know how I'm getting down though. Yeah, well, no, it's free for all. Well, I'd like to see how the cabin looks. Do I see the ladder? Uh, that'd be great. Thank you. <laughs> that or a power suit. Um, this one is like pretty no frills, bare bones. I mean, maybe it goes with the age of the boat, too. All right, so we have dual engines in this one, right? Well, it must be 220 horsepower. I'm going by assist. Well, yeah, I was thinking that, too. It looks like a, like a Ford. Like a Ford engine. I mean, it doesn't look big at all. Probably is. Yeah. And it's okay. They just went in the factory and converted them to uh, salt water use. Uh, okay. Now this, this boat looked like it might have been prepped. Prepped for the for the winter. Okay. It's all series is off. Got it. Okay, and there'll be a second engine underneath me. I'm guessing, right? Same, same kind of setup. Okay. There's a transmission. There's your. Yeah. This is uh, yeah, and I'm surprised it's carbureted. Uh, for some reason, I didn't. Uh, I just wasn't thinking that. <laughs> yeah, I guess the age of it. So lot number five, the cruiser. Let's see where this thing ends up on the bidding tomorrow. Lot number eight, a 1978 Silverton, 34 foot long, 12 and a half foot wide. Bidding is at $100. If you remember Gilligan's Island, this looks exactly like the SS Minnow. Age. Arc Ella Jean out of Ocean City, Maryland. I don't even know if I want to try to climb into it. I don't even know if I can. All right, let's see if I can do a hop and a skip here. Ah. <laughs> Still got it. This thing is a disaster inside. Look, I want to get inside though and see what the cabin looks like. It's, it's like an obstacle course. Nope. Oh, Jeez. I just broke the slider off. Check this out, man. How cool is this? I love this style. I love these older boats. This one's leaking water inside. Look. That's a shame. Love the controls here. Oh, and you got a small berth up front. I love this style. I love the idea of taking something like this and making it like a summer house. That was the vision with coming down here and looking at these boats is can I get something like this cheap that floats, obviously, uh, clean it up some, make it look nice, dock it right down here at the river at the inlet. Uh, I don't even know what that is. And when you're done with the season, uh, you, you sell it or you give it away and you just start over again the following year. And the flybridge is, is a mess, really a mess. Big boat though. It certainly feels bigger than the 34 foot 
that it's claimed to be. Whew. The Arc Ella Jean. All right, let's see where she ends up at with the bidding tomorrow. All right, and some of the other boats that are for sale here. Lot number two, it's a 1969 Bertram, 31 foot long. Bidding is at $100. Here's lot number three, a 1982 Silverton. Looks like a sport fisherman to me. 34 foot long, 12 and a half foot beam. Here's lot number nine. It's a 1998 Proline. It's 30 foot long. Bidding is at $100. The registration up here says it was last registered in 2019. The paint job down here for the anti-algae like algae and so forth it looks fairly fresh and new. It gives you a sense that this thing could go back into the water and and uh, be returned to service pretty easily. Oh yeah, we got little pieces missing, don't we? That's no good. Missing the two-hour drive. Yeah. That's not helping the matters. But let's see where, where lot number nine ends up with on the bidding. And here's lot number four, 1987 Lures. 34 foot long sport fisherman, 12 foot beam, twin coming diesels, and bidding is at $100. And the last item for today, it's lot number 10. It's 45 feet of floating dock. Bidding right now, 105. A lot of fun. This is something they don't do very often. It seems maybe once a year or so they have these auctions. It was, I enjoyed coming out here, spending time with dad. I hope you enjoyed the videos too. I don't think these boats are going to do what I wanted to do with like a summer house, uh, at least for this season. So maybe next time, maybe next year. I don't know. I hope you had a good time. I enjoyed sharing this stuff with you. I learned a little bit from dad and I hope you did too. As always though, I appreciate you joining me and I will see you on the next video.